What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Over 2015, I have been involved with so many adventures and had so many amazing experiences. So this video is gonna talk about my top five moments of 2015. I hope you guys enjoy. Number five on the best moments of 2015 comes in the form of me driving a two million pound Ferrari LaFerrari for sale at Prindeville. I think it's actually sold now but I actually got behind the wheel of this beast and put my foot down. <laughs> this car is blisteringly quick. Yep. That was wheel spin through second into third. This car, I drove a week after I took delivery of my Lamborghini. I thought the Lamborghini was quick. Seven days later, I got the amazing opportunity to drive the Ferrari LaFerrari. And the Lamborghini has forever felt slow <laughs> compared to this. That sounds amazing. Loved this car, loved driving it. I just had to concentrate a lot when I was driving this so that I didn't scratch it in any way, shape or form because I definitely cannot pay the repair bill. Number four is in Monaco. And with these guys again, I know this has featured quite a lot in some of my recent content, but honestly, this is one of the best automotive experiences I have ever had. And I know that I'm talking over the Capristo revs, but you can still see the flames and I'm pretty sure you can still hear them. Anyway, this convoy was so spontaneous and it was a case of just calling around a few friends and their friends. Then all of a sudden we had some of the world's loudest supercars together and went for a convoy through some of the Monaco tunnels up in the hills. And I have to say, my ears were bleeding, but both myself, Sam, Tim and Seb, who were all present and in various cars at this specific moment, both all said that this is some of our best memories of filming supercars. And for Supercars of London, in 2015, this is up there as one of my favorite days and also one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed.
Number three is the growth of supercars of London, you guys, the subscribers, but also the car spotting community in general. When I started supercar spotting, I think I remember seeing maybe two to three people with a camera up in central London. But today, like heading into central London, and right now I was feeling very nervous about doing my periscope in front of the car spotting community. And I think one of my greatest achievements is the collaboration with the six tribes app this is an app that i collaborated with last month and i created the car spotting tribe the links are in the description so make sure that you go and check out the six tribes app which is available on iphone at the moment android is coming but anyway the six tribes car spotting app is over a thousand members and doing stuff like this is just what it is all about just meeting you guys in the street meeting you taking pictures revving my car Letting you guys sit in it and getting up close with the Lamborghini or the R8, both was in 2015. So um, I'm truly grateful for all of you guys. I'm going to be repeating myself quite a lot at number one because number one is obviously the most important and the most important aspect of Supercars of London is all of you that watch and support Supercars of London and myself. This footage obviously... At the moment, I was very, very overwhelmed and I couldn't believe that this was all happening. <laughs> I don't really know how this has happened to me, um, but the growth of Supercars London, obviously all of you guys, it has been truly overwhelming and I cannot thank you enough, but the Six Tribes car spotting app is growing and I can't wait to see all of you guys there. I'm going to be doing my first 2016 Q&A on the 3rd of January, Sunday the 3rd of January at 6 p.m. So I'll be posting on Twitter and Instagram as well for you guys so that you can check out the link. Um, but yes, I'm rambling, but number three is definitely an important one. The car spotting community, it is amazing to see all of you guys in London and everywhere. Number two is very materialistic and personal to me. It is the Lamborghini dream. The first few miles in the Lamborghini guard, LP560. On September the 2nd, I picked up my dream car, the Lamborghini. And this is just some footage that I filmed on my first drive. <laughs> mine is mine. A very, very special day for me, like just, I don't know, like the Lamborghini has always been a dream of mine. I wanted to own one before I turned 25. And on the 2nd of September, 2015, I picked oh my up my dream car. I'm still 24, I turned 25 on the 19th of January. If any of you guys out there want to note down where my birthday is, but there is a bit of an emotional and motivational speech that I do whilst I drive the car right now. I suppose I could use this opportunity to, to talk to you guys quickly about how dreams can come true if you have a dream and you believe in that dream then this is living proof that dreams come true i started youtube at the age of 15 years old jumping out of trees into bushes not really knowing what i was going to do i had no idea what career i was going to take whether i was going to go to university i just went through i did my gcse's i did my a levels and then that was when i was like i need to go to university and do business I want to start my own business, but I still had no idea how it was going to happen. And then the bigger and the more work that I put into Supercars of London, the more hours I spent walking around London, the miles I spent, or the miles I walked in central London filming, the amount of times I went to London with gloves on my fingers, two pairs of gloves on my fingers and a coat just to film cars, to bring back some content to edit and put on Supercars of London YouTube channel. I always had the dream of owning a Lamborghini by 15, uh, by 25, or oh, by 15 would have been amazing, but I always had the dream of owning a Lamborghini before I was 25. And as, as much as I say somehow I've been able to do it, there has been so many hours that you guys probably don't see. I, I work from eight o'clock till 11, 12, sometimes even one o'clock in the morning. and just to get these videos edited, made, created. Social media happens 24 seven. There's not really an evening when I'm not on social media. And there's things that have been compromised and sacrificed for this moment of me driving a Lamborghini for the first time. But I have to say that this hard work that is on camera and off camera, and the hours that have been spent trying to get to this dream of owning a Lamborghini by 25, has paid off and by no means does that mean that I'm going to stop it means that I'm going to be working harder 
now I've got this car, the videos that I can create are going to be so much better, the places that I can go are going to be even more amazing and the opportunities that are going to be open to me are going to be that bit better. So for the last five years, six years, seven years on Supercars of London, the stuff that has happened has led to this moment and now it is going to be taken to the next level. And number one, my most important moment, which has been pretty much the whole of 2015. It has been by far the most fun year I have ever had. The adventures that I've been on, the journeys that I've been on with some of these idiots that are on camera now. And I probably have forgotten quite a lot of footage of many people out there that have helped me have such a fantastic 2015. But the most important people, that have made 2015 so special for me are all of you guys, all of my subscribers, all of my viewers, all of my audience that have been supporting me since day one. Whenever you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you all are super important to me. You're all what my motivation is all about. You are why I get up in the morning, I whip the camera out and I go and film supercars. I love doing it. This is my number one passion and I will never stop producing videos, really pictures of supercars <laughs> and my life. It has been absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. So I want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you guys that I've bumped into into the street, that I've been in communication with over social media, or that I've just seen comment, or if you're just a viewer and you enjoy watching Supercars of London but you don't want to get involved with the comments. <laughs> Overall, the last bit of this video and the last bit of 2015 I just want to take the time to thank all of you guys um, I'm overwhelmed with all of your support and the love that you show to myself my friends and everyone involved with everything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis so thank you everyone it has been a fantastic 2015 bring on 2016 it is gonna be an awesome year I don't even know what's gonna happen but make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and I look forward to seeing you on the other side in 2016. Oh so yeah, that was an update for you. I'm glad I filmed it. And uh, hopefully I'll still be alive to film some more content for you. <laughs> That's a awful sign up. <laughs> We're out here in the Swiss Alps and there is not much wildlife to be seen. And by the way, that was my best impression of David Attenborough. Absolutely rubbish. We were all very excited for the first two minutes of arriving in Italy until we get to these roads.